This is House of Transport. My name is Gideo Dioye. I am the Transport Master. Welcome to our Highway Engineering Series. This is where we talk about the infrastructure and the road configuration, how the road is built, and what kind of furniture should be on the road in order to direct those who are going to use it. Um, one of the critical factors that determine how a road is used are the signs. Um, on this episode, we're going to be touching on the roundabout signs. Um, what is a roundabout? I hope for those of us that are very familiar in the Lagos State or Nigerian environment that we don't attribute roundabout to be the intestine in a cow. No, we're talking about circulation process on the highway. So a roundabout means like literally a vehicle can go into a roundabout and if you have so much petrol, you don't have anywhere else to go and you have nothing better to do, you can actually be circulating the roundabout round and round and round and round until you have a permanent headache. All right? In order for you to move out of the roundabout or to understand the usage of the roundabout, a sign, as usual, is important. You know why? Because technically speaking, right, road is always more of a straight line or bendy type of road. People are always moving in a forward motion. But when you suddenly come into a roundabout, your speed and your reaction must change. And because there's a requirement for your reaction to change, somebody somehow must talk to you. That is where the roundabout sign comes in. All right, the roundabout sign is to tell you that this is a roundabout. So the way and manner of driving within a roundabout changes because the sign and the way the road has been built has told you. Where are these signs needed? The sign for a roundabout. Mainly it's always mandatory, it's circular, we've discussed about circular type of signs which is mandatory and it's got the direction where the vehicle should go on the roundabout. Remember for those of us that travel, you can go to a country where they drive on the opposite side of Nigeria, right? So the roundabout for them will be going clockwise, all right? But in Nigeria and in Lagos, our roundabout movement is anti-clockwise, which means it's going from here that way, all right? So whenever you go into a roundabout, don't begin to make a left turn into the roundabout. You can only turn right into a roundabout in order to circulate it. And the sign and the arrow on the sign will show that. Where would you see this kind of sign? The first one, right, you can get a warning sign that will be placed about 30 meters before the roundabout itself. That's just to warn you that you need to slow down and anticipate that there's a roundabout in front, you need to change your speed. Then at the roundabout itself, there should be another sign there that tells you this is a roundabout. It's a circular sign, vertical. In addition, you can even find a right turning arrow placed at each entry into the roundabout. So every time you come to the roundabout, you will see that sign with the arrow going this way, it is specifically telling you, you can only turn right. Those are the sort of things that you expect to find in the roundabout. And remember, in our series, we've talked about give way. So remember, you cannot go into a roundabout and not give way to the traffic on the left that is already in the roundabout. They have the right of way. So you have give way signs, you have roundabout signs. So next time you're driving to a roundabout, why don't you behave the way we expect you to behave like someone who has gotten the driver's license from the right place. You see the roundabout sign, you slow down, go into the roundabout on your turn, circulate where you need to do, and indicate on exit where you need to exit from the roundabout. Those are the things that we need to do. Do share it on our social media, watch on our YouTube TV, and you look forward to the next subject matter that will come under the highway engineering. Thank you for watching.